message from unknown contact. Open. Hello, Carl. Who are you? Doesn't matter who I am. What matters is who are you? Carl, that's just a... It's just a name, a symbol. I'm the one who will guide you to the answers. What should I do? First, you need to complete some warm-up exercises. Take the elevator to the 15th floor. Sounds like a fucking cult initiation. Mm -hmm. Either that, or the, or the 05. Why the fuck? <laughs> well, why the fuck would they make you an 05? All no, you've done is, like... Not me, I'm saying the person doing it is the 05. Oh. Like, you know, like, telling me to do this. Well, then why... Well, why, why would they be in contact with you specifically? I don't know. Do you understand anything that 05 does? <laughs> oh. I know it's nowhere close to done because we still got 610 and 049 to do. See what they did to that kid, I really want to. <laughs> Enter room. Wait for a work notification. Did I actually choose the correct room or. Zero four two six. Zero four two six. Six seven nine. Nice to be. Wait, how do I get? Wait, which? Uh, oh yeah, it was B. I think I need to go this way. Right, what were the numbers again? Go back. Uh, I see it right there. Task information 426. It's right there for me to do. Yeah, you're not you weren't protecting that kid very well. Item SCP 426, object class Euclid. Confidentiality level three. All non level D staff covered in this manual have had their identities obscured. The events recorded in this manual can be accessed via the digital library. Level three authorization required. Use of this manual is covered by the confidentiality clause. Any staff found in breach of the clause will be subject, subject to immediate demotion. Confirm. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> We're now playing an old game. SCP-426. We're about to find out what it is. We just lost a derma. We just regained a derma. Oh my gosh, this really is like an old timey game. Test subject D 081 named Jason Grius is a 28 year old black male in good health with no history of mental illness. He was sentenced to life imprisonment for murder. Nicknamed Chimney, his psychological condition is normal before he enters site redacted. However, he developed negative and pessimistic indices while in prison along with se severe symptoms of nicotine addiction. Physical examination records showed that D-081 did not acquire any physical disabilities. Oh, I thought there would be more. 
jaded, skeptical, right. and exhausted. Life and living are tough. When being awake and sleep are no longer regular, only the number of cigarettes left can give me a general sense of time. Only smoking can get me out of bed. Oh my gosh, I am playing an old-timey game. Also, they just said no history of mental illness. Wouldn't nicotine addiction be considered a mental illness? Or am I misunderstanding the categorizations there? Maybe. Being a part of mirror, but I don't don't need to see my face. This. I need to smoke on the toilet first. However, when I go to the toilet, nothing. There's no interaction. Why don't do they give us something that we don't even have the chance to use? Got the cigarette pack. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> At least you're still alive. That's right, man. I've been paying attention. You know, I can feel your life energy. What? Oh. Not, okay. Not just yours, but all lives. The transitions that happen. Making the most of life transitions is a beautiful thing, and they exist in abundance here. Okay, so... While I have never been to prison, I am fairly confident this is not standard morning conversation. <laughs> also, I'm just wondering how much work they actually put into this game. Also, I was meaning to ask, uh, yeah. um, how long were you playing the stream? I think I said it's like 2 o'clock, why? Okay, I was just wondering. Yeah. I'm still wondering how much time and money they put into this game because this is good. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? They always lead to unknown opportunities where everything is uncertain. I can see the man made chaos distorted by another force that can't be called life. Idiot. Guy, they... I'm, pretty... huh? I'm fairly certain. You're not supposed to be using uh, hallucinogenics in prison. <laughs> anyway, at least you're still alive. Yeah, what a great ending. <laughs> they were talking while he was taking a shit. I love. D-081, time for your task. Let me finish a cigarette. Come on, give me a break. I always follow orders, don't I? I can't even smoke anymore. Hurry up. Damn it. This is so interesting. <laughs> that we get to play a really old timey game. And a really good game. This is... I love it how it switches you to do different game scenarios. Yeah. Get ready. Uh, I get it. Security check. What can you detect in this thing anyway? No weapons, no metal, no smoking in the observation room. No smoking? You have something against me, huh? Shows hands. B-081. I can hear you. What do you want me to do this time? There's a room on the bottom floor. Your task is to enter the room and observe the object on the table. Come back and report your findings once you've completed the observation. Do you understand? This big foundation is full of fucking freaks. Jesus, I'll never get used to this. They can't make this something less gross. Oh, 
Why does he run like that? I don't know. Uh, Sphinx New Enigma, waiting for you to solve it. Is this the poster of the opera? Is free squash opera? Oh no! Come oh, on! No. <laughs> Not the toaster! Come on! Are you kidding me? Yo, doctor. Hello, can you hear me? There's nothing wrong, right? I don't want to see this random guy shove his cock into an electrical light, into a plug-in. I don't think they're gonna have them do that, actually. I maybe misremembered something. I remember one of the effects of the toaster being at some point someone tried to plug themselves in using their cock. No, I, I, I don't think they use their cock. I could have sworn I heard it retold like that. Looks like I need to observe this in here. What the hell is this? Observe the cock. I'll have a cigarette first. Where are my cigarettes? Ha. They'll never guess where I hid my cigarettes. There's a cigarette meal. Damn, that's good. The E-081 return to the lab reported to the doctor. You can start reporting. Well, on the table, I'm a toaster. I'm about seven inches wide and six inches tall, and I'm made of stainless steel. Anything else? What else? I'm not sure what else you want me to say. Anything else? I'm not sure what else you want me to say. I'm a toaster. Put bread in my slot, and I'll make a perfect fucking piece of toast. Good. You can go back to your room now. Good. What did I just say? chimney there's something different some wonderful smell on you what the f what is is this yeah. is this guy having a stroke maybe what is it i sense it now you're gonna experience a new life a different kind of existence shit that sounds fucked up man You've changed. You're no longer bound by limitations. There's no beginning and no end. Only chaos. Can you there's shut up? On, there's only cock in an uh, electrical fixture. Bookworm says it's that good toast smell. Yeah. That was the joke. Haven't you heard? <laughs> that the bird is the word? <laughs> sorry. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you certainly are the word, but no, that's not what I'm talking about. Fuck you. Um, it's said that, uh, if you smell burning toast randomly, you're having a stroke. Oh. <laughs> Why is it always the burning toast smell? The false smells. I don't even know if it's true. Anyway, is this the end of a life? I don't know. Maybe you're, invol you're evolving. Evolve. What is this, Pokemon? <laughs> You're gonna evolve into a motherfucking toaster, bud. <laughs> You're gonna mega evolve. Your type's gonna be metal, and your only move is gonna be sit there. <laughs> <laughs> and cook toast. <laughs> That's all you do. Hope you have an exciting fucking life as a goddamn toaster. Oh, Bookworm actually didn't know about that stroke thing. Yeah, I've heard it before. I don't know how accurate it is. Why am I even trying to understand what you're saying? You're feeling different now, right? I do feel strange. I think I'm just tired. Life needs motivation. Maybe you just need a cigarette. A cigarette? No, no, no. I don't need a cigarette. I need to charge up. Because I am... I am a toaster. I need to be plugged in to start working. He's gonna shove his cock in the light. Wait! What the <laughs> <f> <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I am a toaster. I feel so good. What was I doing? 
I need to charge. Yes, yes, I gotta charge myself up. Damn, there's no plug. They gave me all these cigarettes, but no plug. Maybe I can make one myself. He mega evolved into a toaster! He actually did it! Got a piece of iron pipe. Got a piece of cloth. You got how to make a plug. You got a wire. Choose two of the floor. <laughs> cigarettes! Choose cigarettes! <laughs> no. <laughs> oh! Wait, really? Good, this is it. I can't wait to charge up. He's gonna die. Gonna shove us. Test report D 081 observed SCP 426 closely for about 30 minutes. During questioning, he could only provide a first person description of SCP 426. D 081 returned to his cell and began experiencing hallucinations. Believing that he was a toaster. SD-081 died of electrocution after plugging in a self-made metal object into a socket because he felt that he required charging. If I remember correctly, you had to... It had to take up to four, two weeks for it to actually make you do that. Well, maybe... He's been doing this for two weeks. Fair. And maybe he shoved his cock into his a metal apparatus and electrocuted his cock. Alright. Test subject D-082 named Dorothy Wilson is a 65-year-old white female with no history of mental illness. D-082's psychological evaluation results were unknown when she entered site redacted. The analysis shows that she is mentally strong and resistant to interrogation. She has caused several cellmates to commit auto homicide and several guards to betray the redacted prison institution. D-082 was diagnosed with lymphoma cancer before she was recruited by the foundation. She was cleared for tests testing a three confirmed that her lymphoma cancer would not affect her SCP-426 test. All right. All right, cancer lady. Go in there and think you're a toaster. What, what happened, dear? I fell asleep. I'm sorry. Maybe I misheard, but you were shouting. Oh, how rude of me. What was I yelling about? Every time I fall asleep, I think I never wake up again. You were yelling, bread, give me bread. I dreamt about my children. Whenever I think of them, it fills me with regret for what I did. What did they do? Did she, did she, did she cook her children? Seven months ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. Oh my god, I'm sorry to hear that, Miss, Miss Wilson. I made a lot of mistakes in my life. I came here on my own free will, you know. I think of this as some kind of redemption. I'm sorry, we can't chat anymore. I can tell you more about my children next time. What did she do? She toasted her children. And now she is a toaster. People should take care of how they look, even if they're old. I wish everyone thinks like this. Here's Blockman. Oh. I was saying, here's Blockman. Alright. D-082, time for your task. Hello, young man. You don't look very happy today. <laughs> what happened? Well, she... No, no, Bookworm. She probably cooked and then ate her children because they were good. Okay. I'm not going back to that empty room for another day, am I? I know I shouldn't complain, but it's awfully boring. Don't mind me nagging. 
you know I don't have much time left. Lady, you're, you're not going to make an SCP agent. So Do what slow. you want. <clears throat> well, she's an old lady hatchet. I know that, but I'm just noticing the attention to detail that they made the crippled old lady with cancer's box lower. Prepare for security check. You're always scanning. You don't trust me? Alright, it seems like you don't want to talk today. Watch her have something. Damn it, I was really hoping she had something. Just as a random spoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Dr. H. D-0082. My dear, you can call me Dottie. You'll be in innermost room today. Your task is to observe the object on the table. Then come back here to report your findings. Cost. You really <laughs> should be more clear about these tasks. This one sounds simple enough, just as well. I might not be able to stand f for too long. Oh my, what a terrible smell. Why don't they just use a nice lavender scent? Probably because those chemicals are supposed to clean you. I don't think they're supposed to smell good if they're supposed to clean you. It's the toaster. This looks familiar. I'm sure the empty room I was in before is just next door. I remember I need to observe. Yes, just observe. Oh, is that my tinnitus flaring up? Or did I just hear something wonderful? What? What happened? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Did I just walks up, touches the toaster? What was that? Was that my tinnitus? That that felt wonderful. And then it's just a jump cut. What yep. the hell? Right, you can start your report. To be honest, I'm not sure this is what you need here. Start your report. Well, I am a toaster about this wide and this high. Oh, and my youngest daughter uses the same model as me. Oh, and, oh, I'm teal green. I think I look good in this color. Yes, yes. I like this coat of paint. I think I can still work. Hmm, what else? That's all I can say. Sorry, I'm not as observant as I used to be. Good, you can go back to your room now. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. Now, how is she gonna die? That guy just standing in the center of the room, just so that he can sprint up to you and just breathe down your neck for a couple minutes. Right. I wonder how this cellmate is feeling, because so many people are being killed by a toaster. <laughs> nope, so many people are being killed because they think they are toasters. Right, and they're just like, watching it all the time, like... What the fuck is wrong with these people? <laughs> that last guy shoved his dick in an electrical socket. This place is weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Miss Wilson, how are you feeling? I don't know. I mean, how do you feel after that task? Oh, I feel not too bad. Yes, I feel like I'm good. That's great, Miss Wilson. To be honest, I was a little worried. I thought, I feel good. I feel great. Yes, wonderful. I have to do something. What do you mean you have to do something? Miss Wilson? Miss Wilson? You know what? There's been a little voice in my head. I think it's time for me to fulfill my duty. I'm a toaster. Time to get to work. Oh no. I'm really... what? Oh god damn it. There's not enough bread to toast. You can toast one piece of bread. Oh. You gotta break out and go find more bread. Maybe I should return the stolen access card under the pillow.
Oh god. <laughs> She's wandering around trying to find bread to toast. Work, what work, does this work. even mean? Oh, there's she's just eating the toast? Way. Yeah. Or the bread? She's just eating the bread to quote-unquote toast it. Yeah. I see. Bread, bread, work, work. Oh, there's someone to trash. Ah. Uh. This is not enough. I can't toast more. That looks like a steak, not a piece of bread. Bread, bread, work, work. Guess maybe it was a bread enough. steak. I can toast more. No problem for me. I'm the best model ever made. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> work, work, more bread, more bread. Who the fuck came in here and put this much bread in the back? They just killed an old lady. Oh my gosh, look at her. Oh dear god. Why is this bread taking so long to toast? Test report D-082 observed the object closely for redacted minutes. Five minutes later, she could only provide a first-person description of SCP-426. D-082 began to develop hallucinations 15 minutes after returning to her cell. She believed that she was a toaster and that she needed to toast bread. She died of internal bleeding due to acute gastric dilation. The autopsy found 60, 16 kilograms of undigested bread in her stomach. Fucking hell. I have no idea how much that is. Yep, rule of thirds. They got one more guy probably. Yep. This subject that D-03 named Adam Maria is a 38-year-old white male with no history of mental illness. He was sentenced to life imprisonment for murder. The psychological evaluation results showed that he had irritable, violent, and manic tendencies before entering site redacted. Remarks D-083 yelled, I'm a toaster. My insides need to be cleaned. After uh -huh. coming into contact with SCP-426 redacted times, he then swallowed 550 milliliters of dishwashing liquid and fell into a coma. It's uncertain at this time whether the effects of SP-426 are still active. Observation is still underway. Okay. Damn it, fuck. Fuck all of you. Oh. D-03, you're awake. Get yourself ready for lab. What the hell am I doing here? What did you do to what the what did you do to me? No one has done anything to you. Ha, huh, that's convincing. Do you think I'm a fucking idiot? After the test, you drank industrial strength dishwashing liquid. What the <laughs> hell are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, I'll kick your goddamn ass. D-03, what are you? What? D-03, what are you? I'm your fucking grandpa, that's what I am. I'm gonna knock you out your teeth one by fucking one. D-083, come out and get ready for a lab. Damn, why am I dizzy? I don't feel right. It feels like part of my brain is missing. Like, I don't like I'm, I'm a toaster. I, I am a toaster. I should be a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. What the fuck? <laughs> What? <laughs> what? What? That needs to be clipped. What? <laughs> Where it just sings, I am a toast. That needs to be clipped. It's just tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. D 03, what are you? Feeling dizzy with a headache. I'm a good toaster. Fuck, my head hurts. Where am I? 
I should be. I've been so confused lately. Oh, you backed him up. Theater 083. Hey, you old fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what you did after your last test? Theater 083, are you w willing to tour? Or are served the test subject? Listen here, I ain't gonna do shit no more. Just kill me now, you bastards. Fuck, my head is gonna explode. Shit. Guard, send D 3 back to his room for observation. Yes, Doctor. Damn it, I've had enough, you old fucker. I should go down there. I'm gonna start turning your living quarters. Damn it. I actually can't return that way. Oh, I had it at E. Shit, what's wrong with me? I shouldn't be like this. I should be. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. Oh my I god. Am a I am a toaster. That needs to be clipped every time that happens with this character. These are Serie 3. Do you have anything to report? Come on, man. I'm broken. Broken? The doctor wants to know how you're feeling. I'm definitely broken. I don't think I can toast any more bread. Bread? Do you have a screwdriver? There's something seriously wrong with me. You need to go to the clinic. Open a door. I need to be fixed. Oh my god, bread. I'll try to toast this bread. That, that way I know if I'm really broken. Damn it. I, there's something wrong with me. This is bad. Oh no. <laughs> what is happening? I have level D prisoner breach. Go through. Oh. Wait, they're spreading. attention for like a single sec and now I'm watching a grandpa slash toaster beat up a whole bunch of MTF. Theta083. Stop everything now. Theta083, we can kill you now. I am broken. Theta083, what are you? I'm I'm not a good baby bear toaster. <laughs> I can't toast anymore, but yes, I can fix myself. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. Oh. Thanks for changing it from the red. <laughs> also, I'm extremely confused. I just randomly got like messages on uh, Xbox Live. Where some person that I'm not sure if I've ever seen before just starts texting yo, yo, yo like five times and then, man, you are getting blocked. What the fuck? I have no fucking idea what is going on. Yeah. I just sent back, what the heck? Anyway. Uh, after the previous observation experiment was interrupted, D-083 claimed that he was a baby bear toaster and suffered from internal damage. He requested repairs on the way to the clinic. D-083 behaved aggressively and attacked the guard with a lethal we weapon. He cut open his abdomen and claimed there were breadcrumbs jammed inside. D-083 eventually died of excessive bleeding. Yep. Toaster. After conducting several tests with level D prisoners, the Foundation has determined that SB-426 causes severe mental harm to humans. It has henceforth been defined as an info hazard. Thank you for reading the SCP-426 safety manual. Secure, contain, protect. Wait, I have a question. What if something that has the power of anti-memes or a reality bender was to see 426? Would they be affected? Or would they be immune? 
Oh, well. Well, it looks like that's end of 426. I need repairing achievements. <laughs> Oh. There are uh. two doors in front of you. One red, one blue. If you want to give up and leave, go through the red door. The past few months will have been like a dream. You will remember nothing after waking. And this road will end here. You go through the blue door. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Okay, red means to end the game. Or stay. The choice is your own. Blue means I continue the game. This is pretty much the opposite of what the red and blue pill are. Uh, I'm gonna go through blue door. I wanna... I wanna keep playing the game. I mean wait I wonder how they're gonna go with the anti me or is that it for that now might be it well we have yet to go for, for our 049 or 610 so this is probably it for now and they're gonna do updates in the future or, right. or maybe I'll unlock more shit after the credits. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you should have gone through the red door. Well, if I went through the red door, everything would have ended. It, everything ended anyway. Look, it's the giant baby. Oh no, not the giant baby. This game is really good. Mm. Oh, it looks like I don't have to worry about not sh streaming uh, the Tokyo, uh, the Ghost Tokyo game. I forgot what it's called. Uh, uh Ghostwire Tokyo. Yeah. So, I mean, if this is it for now... Yeah. I mean, it would make sense for now, because I think it was not released that long ago for the demo. I think it was June, and they just now released the game. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, if this is actually it for now, do you want to, like... Since you said you are going to... I want to keep the stream going until 2. Do you want to play some GTA? I, or do you not have it set up? I do not have it set up. Fuck. It's very first title. We pour our blood and sweat and tears into Game Pass for three years to bring something to different players. This is our first title. Your feedback, ideas, suggestions are very important to us. Okay, so this is the first one. Which means there's going to be others. Well, this is their first title. Right. Okay, later. Or hit later. For that. Oh, we can actually see all the files. Yeah, see, look, there's there's four others right here. They're not done with the game. There's missing four. Are there other things you might have been, like... Are they maybe, like, different choices? No. Throughout the game? 
Not or wasn't. That's it for now. Damn, this is a good game, and I love it. And I think they didn't say they're not going to release it fully until December, like near December. It, yeah, they said it near the end of year 2022. This is not near the end um, yet. Oh, okay. So, so those probably aren't unlocked yet. They're probably still working on. It. Which. Just goes to show that this this is just amazing. This was worth replacing Tokyo SOS uh, or what or whatever this game is. I, I just said a Godzilla movie instead of the actual game. <laughs> Tokyo SOS. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Uh. But anyway. Oh yeah, the beat is kind of catchy. Yeah, the music was good. The, the voice lines yeah. were good. The graphics was amazing. And I love the changes they did to Hang King, where you had that whole like, literal play you actually visited and acted in the play. That, that was pretty interesting. I loved it.